What's up, everybody? I am back again with another video, and today we'll be going on a different reaction. So I'm gonna read the title. I catfished my man and caught him cheating. So this is gonna be different. So y'all know the do like, comment, subscribe, turn on the notifications, and make sure you don't miss another video. And let's get into it. How do you recover after catching your partner cheating? Is the trust lost forever? Well, my next guest, Amanda, has been with her boyfriend, Derek, for 16 years. And a year ago, he confessed to cheating four times with the same woman. He swears he's no longer cheating, but Amanda wants proof. So today, we're exposing the truth, and I'm unlocking his phone. Everyone, let's welcome Amanda to the show. Hi, Amanda. How you doing? Can I have a hug? Yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice to you look meet very you. pretty. Thank you. So about a year ago, Derek admitted to cheating. At the time, were you shocked? Um, no, I kind of suspected. Okay. Where he was working, I knew that this girl was staying there. And um, so I went out there and found her there. And she told me that something happened. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, she just <laughs> told you straight to your face. She didn't. Oh, she didn't. I tricked him. <gasps> Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I tricked him. Um. And he confessed and told on himself. He was like, yeah, actually, um, we did four times over less than a year. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I was supposed to be friends with her, but. So this was one of your friends, somebody you actually personally knew. Mm -hmm. Wow. I just lost my grandmother and my mom. Yeah. My mom was in a seven-time rollover accident. Mm. And, so it, and I was like, I feel bad. I've lost all my family. And I asked him, I went to him and I said, can you please just give me a little bit more of your time? And then he went and cheated on me. Mm. <laughs> but he's a good guy. Like my grandmother loved him um, when she was alive. My whole family loved him. Yeah. And I love him. I want to make it work. Yeah. 16 years is a long time. It is. He cheated. He admitted it. But you're still trying to catch him with other things. Why? Yeah, because I don't trust him, mm -hmm. unfortunately. Yeah. Is he still doing things to make you think that he's... He's still cheating? Well, I caught an audio on one of the apps I put on his phone. Mm. And that's very questionable. Okay. What did you find on the recording? What I suspect is him having sex with another girl. We have those audios right now, and I would love to hear the first one. Did you know that in Texas, rifles can be carried in public without a license? Whereas in Florida, no open carrying... Okay, we have another one. Let's take a listen. I'm stopping and getting gas right now. He's cocky. He's not alone. He just never sounds like that when he's alone. Oh, okay, hold on. Uh, and Amanda, tell me what what do you think you're hearing? Because well, I will probably tell you what I think I heard. On the one about getting gas, um, you're not going to hear a lot of it, but like in the beginning, he's cocky, and then in he, you can hear his vehicle come to, like he's in it and moving and he stops. You can hear the door slightly open and then close. And then the vehicle takes off again. So he's picked somebody up. Who was he on the phone with, the second one? Oh, me. He's, he's on, on the, the phone, phone with, with me. you. Yes. And so that's why you keep calling him cocky. Because you think that he, he was being with somebody on the phone with you. Yeah. He, and now that first one, what do you think you heard? Um, the first one, I can clearly hear, um, I love you. And then... And very muffled, I love you too. Can I hear that first one again? Because I didn't hear all that. Jesus. You hear me? And then. Don't cry. I got to tell you, I did not hear any of that. <laughs> at, at, at best, I heard someone snoring. <laughs> like, what, what did y'all hear? Did y'all hear? Well, I heard it. I heard it. You've catfished him on Facebook before. Yes. What, what, what did you do? Uh, like I, I said, she's not for the games, all right? I just told you I did from the beginning. All right, what, what did you do on Catfish? Um, I set up a fake account as some other girl, and I was just talking to him about his dog and his picture, and uh, then it went into sexual talk, 
Um, and I was like, you know, I work at the gas station. If you want, you can come on down and we'll hang a sign on the door and we can go to the bathroom. <laughs> and he, I walked into the store. Literally, he was calling her. So, wow. Okay. So you feel like you've heard it from these audios. Mm -hmm. You tricked him into getting him admitted. <laughs> you catfished him on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Listen, I, I understand the 16 years, but I don't understand why you stay in there. He's a good man. I, I think that, I think that you a lot of- You hear the confusion, right? You hear the <laughs> confusion. You heard the confusion. Yeah. Okay. Um, see, when my grandfather was dying, a veteran, and he wasn't well, this man literally was right beside me, helping me care for my family. Um, he's always been there caring. It's just. But it, I, there's one thing to care for your family, and there's another thing to care for you. You're the one in the 16 year relationship. Right. All right, everyone, I think it's time to talk to Derek. Please welcome Derek to the show so we can get his side of the story. Hey, Derek, thanks for being here, man. How are you? I'm good, thank you. So, how do you feel about what Amanda had to say? I did cheat on her. I mean, and I told her that I did, and I have it since. It's the only time I have. So why did you cheat with the same woman multiple times? Because I got tired of being called a bitch, frankly. <laughs> oh! Nice so bitch. Be but you wouldn't spend any time with me, and I just lost my family. Well, you don't just push me away further. So you cheated in the past. Are you cheating now? Hell no. Yeah. I, I don't mind the conviction. Hell no, if you, you feel it. No. All right. And when was the last time you cheated? At least two years ago. Two years ago. And it was ago. only with that one person. Yeah. So, I mean... And that Four, was times. Time. Four times. Yeah. Four times. And then lied to my face about it when he come home. Because mm. I first asked him, and he, he's like, "No, I don't know. You're, well, I don't know what you're talking about." Mm. Then I had to pull the. I talked to her, and she told me something happened, and I need to come talk to you. Do you still have contact with that woman? No. Okay. I have no idea how to contact. I her. don't know about that either. I have okay. no clue. I don't know where she's at. Don't care. Did, did y'all meet at work? I worked for a farm that that was family with he met her because of me mm -hmm. that's that yeah. she was my friend and that's how he even knew her to begin with yeah is it frustrating you that amanda accuses you so much of cheating it pisses me off okay i think he should have thought about that before he cheated on me she's probably right mm. honestly but <laughs> i think she needs to quit accusing me and I would if I thought I could I trust mean, you. If, if you're accused of it so many times, eventually some you may go do it again. Oh, you know? my goodness. Not really. but Are you threatening me? Hell no. Well, I hope not. So yeah. Yeah. The, obviously the, the trust is broken. And when you make comments like that, it only leads her to believe that there could be more cheating. You do see that, right? I guess I do, yeah, now. Yeah. I didn't really, but yeah, I guess. And the really sad thing is I love you. I love you a lot. I don't look at other guys. I don't look at them. I don't care what they have to offer. Say, do anything. I love Look, I'm at ease. I'm at to say this to y'all. Like, this woman expressing her feelings to this man. Two years, like, two years ago, he cheated on this woman four times, and he trying to make things better. But, but they, just like he said, he got tired of being called being a bitch. Like, that's kind of wrong. And this one, and this woman lost her family. He would have gave this woman some more attention and like spending time with her. That's what that's what a relationship like supposed to be. Like you know what I'm saying? Like what the fuck? Like that's how a relationship is. When you're in a relationship with somebody, if if your partner is is going is going through a lot of drama with family, losing family, losing friends, like that person will always. Be that you. Well, I love you. I, mean, yeah. I just don't like. I've never cheated on you, and I'm not, and I won't. How committed to your relationship are you? Very. And what have you done to show that? I'm still here. Mm -hmm. Well, that's her commitment because <laughs> she's still here. You cheated. Well, okay. Thank you. Yeah, my producer told me that you stopped drinking for her. Yeah. Yes, nice. he did. Years ago. Years ago. Mm -hmm. Yes. And wh why was that important for you to do? I like to, I like to drink. Because mm -hmm. he put his hands on me when he did one time. And I told him I would leave him. Got it. So at least in that moment, you were wise enough to know, like, I don't want to lose this woman. I love her. Yeah, I, I went to jail and all that for it. I got it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Um, Amanda, yeah. what do you think we'll find on Derek's phone? Um, some porn. <laughs> and uh, I don't know really what.
what else. Yeah. Do you think we'll find other women? I I doubt it because I think he has another phone. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> so if you say you want me to unlock his phone, but then you say you think he has another phone, I do. it then becomes a, a cycle. Because I now know. you can't, you're saying that you want this so that you can either move on or move out. Right. But if I unlock his phone and you find out something or you don't find out something, you're like, you've now already put it in your head, he has another phone. So how does that work? Well, that, because I unfortunately, that becomes a never winning battle for him. Right, mm -hmm. right. Derek, what do you think about this? I think it's all crazy. Mm -hmm. Honestly. My best friend of 30 yeah, years. Yeah, I mean, I gave, her, I gave her reason to distrust me, but. But, but damn, I mean, you guys to trust me sometime, again, or my, try to, I mean. My best friend of 30 years. Did you hear what your husband said? That's yes. the way it is. Or your man said? He, yes. said? he said, he yes, I broke the trust, but you got to start to trust me again one day. Well, I mean, you need to show me that I can. I do. I ain't been cheating on you. Time I have no does that. To. You and time will do that. Well, we've had two years for you to start thinking differently. Two again. years. For I thought you were lying the whole time. You still do. I All right. Well, Derek, is there anything that you want to confess that could be in this phone before I unlock it? Nope. There ain't nothing there. <laughs> nothing at, at no. all. Open that thing up. Let's see what's there. Okay. <laughs> you have any feelings about this? Are you ready for me to unlock this phone? I'm ready. Okay. Yo, I hate this. We unlocked your phone, Derek, and we looked for apps, text, phone, um, phone messages, and photos. When it came to apps, we found two porn accounts that you have been logging into. Chatting? Or? I don't see any chatting on there. They're just logged in. That's all we can find. Okay. Uh huh. When it came to text messages, we found zero text messages that were suspicious. Thank you. When it came to phone calls, we found zero phone calls. <laughs> and when it came to photos, we found zero. zero photos. Yeah, that's what I found too when I got his phone. That's what made me think that there was another one. There I ain't no other phone. Got it. Because I thought he's got to be communicating with this woman somehow. Well, the thing that's really suspicious for me, and I had a long conversation with the person who unlocks our phone, the investigator, all texts, calls, apps, everything have been deleted up until the day you arrived here. The only people oh. who were in your phone were me and my producers. Why did you delete them? Because it ain't nobody's business about my work and, and everything else. I, your I work? Mean, that's I what mean, you I know, told me you were doing. I told you there was nothing on there, and that's what I meant. There was nothing there for him to find so to So you, you don't let it leave that for us to see that there's nothing? Well, they pulled it all back up, didn't they? Did they? I don't know, did you? <laughs> why, why, let's not deflect. We want to know why would you delete it? She wants to know. Because that's a very s suspicious behavior to do right before you know you're coming to this show. To delete everything up until the day that you have arrived. It's not even that you said, let me delete some things for work. Let me delete every. You swiped your phone up until here. So that only thing that we would see wow. is messages <laughs> from my <laughs> Because there wasn't nothing to find. I didn't think it was anybody's business. So if there was <laughs> nothing to find, why would you swipe everything up until the day you arrived? Because I don't really know how to go in and singly erase anything. I believe that. You believe what? I believe that. I'm you know not what? very smart with a phone. That he didn't know how to go in and, you know, erase he, each thing that he wanted to erase. I do believe that. I don't want him to look like he's such a villain, such a bad guy, because he's really not. But see, that's conflicting messaging again. Because that conflicting messaging is keeping you in a relationship where you feel torn. Yeah. Because it's, it's like you're saying no, but for some reason you're holding on because of the time. <laughs> I lost it. So you're, you're holding on because you're afraid to lose someone else after uh, have everyone else being lost. I hear that. I understand. I get it. I get it. You don't want to have any more loss in your life. So you're conflicted. I got to tell you, I'm sorry for that because I understand that type of pain. I understand what it is to be mourning people you love and the security you have from them while also trying to hold on to something that you feel could possibly mimic what you had before. But the thing is, is that 
instead of losing him, you're losing yourself right now. Thank you. I've been lost for a while. I see it. I see it. I see it. I see it. You need to do a little bit of grief counseling, and you need to do a little bit of counseling just to figure out where you're at as a man. Thanks. So what I would like to do is offer you therapy so that you can go handle that stuff on your own, and you can be clear about who you are as a woman and what that you need. That would be great. Yeah. Thank you. Because as much as I want to, as much as I want to tie this up in a bow for you two, you're always going to be in this conflict. Yeah. And it's an internal conflict that you have. And so, yeah, you're not going to get the respect you deserve because she's still trying to grapple with, does she respect you? I does did. she love you? Does she support you? Mm -hmm. Is she okay with losing you? Is she okay with being with you? She has to figure all she that out. Figure that out. Yeah. I get it. But then on the, while she's figuring that out, you also have to figure out. I'll figure some out too. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you know it. You know it. You know it. <laughs> Good. Hold up, hold up. Where are you going? I know you want to watch more Karamo, so click here to subscribe and click here to watch more so we can keep talking and growing, friends. I love you. If you're tired of spending a ton on all your streaming services, then welcome to Philo. Say goodbye to cable box. Yo. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, he's gonna say this. Like, I'm gonna say this to you. When you're in a relationship, if you really, if you really, like, I'm gonna say this to you. Relationships is just different. Like, I'm gonna say this. In my opinion, like, if nobody doesn't even, like, I'm gonna say this. Some relationships, some people take, do take their relationships seriously. Some, some of them don't. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if, if you've been with the same person, like, like for, like, for, like, six or, like, seven years, and y'all never get a chance to spend time with each other, it seems like you don't want to spend, it seems like you don't want to be with that person, or you just don't want to spend, spend, spend no more time with him. But it really depends on, like, if you're going through a lot of shit between your family, but you got to put that, you got to put that on the other side and think about, and think about, think about the relationship with your partner. I'm going to be honest, like, I've been with the same girl for seven years. Like, we did, we, like, when we first met, we did spend each other, spend the time, like, spend the time with each other a bit. Ever since the COVID went up, it's, it kind of went, it kind of went into a disaster. And after that, when the COVID situation kind of went all the way down, I finally got a chance to see her, and like, and like, like this year, like it's almost summer is about to be almost over. If I get my chance to see my girl, like we haven't spent time with each other that much, like I still live with the duck though. So anyway, thank y'all for watching this video. So y'all know to do like, comment, subscribe. Turn on the notifications and make sure you don't miss another video. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.